This is Eagle Solomon from Another Time, the blog where we discuss the Mayan calendars, Tolkien and Thun, and conduct experiments in time. So, today we started a new Trikana, which is called One Oak, the Trikana of the Dog. Because this is stage one, I think it's a good time to go a bit back to basics. In the last lesson, um, which was actually geared more towards advanced followers of the of uh, the calendar uh, today I, I'd like to uh, discuss some guidelines about how to follow the calendar and to talk a bit about uh, the current Trikana and uh, I'll begin by showing you um, this see this uh, diagram which actually shows the entire Tolkien Ram it begins right here in one crocodile and it ends and then you go down until you reach seven sun and then you go to the second column beginning eight crocodile which is wh what's interesting about this uh, uh, diagram is that you have the numbers one two three four five six and seven marking days one second day, third day, fourth day, and so forth. And uh, 20 rows, or sun signs, times 13 uh, columns is 260. So if we regard this chart as a ma map, then the next thing you need to know is where you are. And with the, this translates to knowing what day it is today. So uh, once you know what day it is today, you'll know what day it is tomorrow and you know where you're going and uh, what's the, where you are in relation to the, to the rest of the map. Uh, and uh, Ian Longold, in uh, one of the lessons that I saw, he said uh, that just knowing what day it is on the Tolkien has some sort of, uh, makes a difference, uh, actually does some rewiring in your head after following just one calendar and one clock for most of your life. Um, and this actually allows you to uh, program a new operating system uh, for your consciousness. Um, okay, so another thing that you need to know is to find out your Mayan birthday. Just the other day I met this friend of mine and I told her that she had a Mayan birthday yesterday. And she said, well, okay, that's not my real birthday. And I said, uh, uh, well, that's uh, more or less like saying, um, are you uh, six foot four or uh, 196 centimeters? I might be wrong on the calculation, but uh, you understand the example. It's just another way of measuring time. If, I, if your birthday uh, is your birthday, uh, regardless of what tool you're using to measure time. So um, you need to know your own birthday. There are various calculators out there to calculate that, uh, especially in the Mayan Magics uh, website and uh, under Daily Tolkien. Uh, there's a, a very nice calculator there which uh, you can use. You just put on your Gregorian cal uh, date and you get uh, the Tolkien date and you, you begin to read and, and know more. And you can do the same for uh, people you know, family and friends, and all this will just contribute to your understanding uh, of the calendar. And, um, and you need to keep in mind that it's a very subjective process. And it's, it's like, uh, it's a learning process that um, that comes uh, an understanding of which comes over time and uh, um, you know you can listen to the, these lessons you can read the blog you can read all the books that there are about the subject but uh, it, it can never replace uh, your actual experience and interaction daily interaction uh, and experimentation with this and that's the only way you can have real fun with it and uh, get some real insights about um, whatever it is that interests you. Now going back to today's Trikana, the, sorry, the Trikana started today, 
I'll just say, I'll just give some more examples on uh, how you should uh, read um, this diagram. I have 1, 7, and 13 as the access points. Anyone listening to this presentation who was born 1, 7, and th or 13, you have to keep in mind that the way you view the world uh, is quite different to everyone else. I mean, two through, th uh, two through six is going up the hill. Seven is sitting at the apex and enjoying the view. And then eight through 12 is going down. And 13 is already thinking about uh, the next mountain that he wants to climb. Now, there are various, um, I'll just hold it this way. Uh, uh, various uh, relationships uh, that I'd like to point out at this point. Uh, let's uh, so apart from one seven and thirteen, which go together, uh, we have uh, two and eight. Yes, three and nine. Four and ten. Five and eleven. Six and twelve. Okay, these are couplets. Okay, these are, sorry, um, day couples, uh, which you should uh, pay attention to. Okay, if, if you were, uh, I mean, let's say I was born uh, eight uh, on stage eight, okay? And I know exactly how I feel about two, okay? And you should know two. Now, uh, the same thing goes on uh, the sun signs that are across, okay? I mean, okay, two, uh, six and eight, seven and, uh, uh, sorry, nine and five, ten and four, three and eleven, and twelve and two. Also, another relationship. Check it out. Okay? So, uh, this is what we are looking at right now. And uh, keep in mind that right over here in this point we have it's still it, this is going to happen next week we have 11 sun going to 12 uh, crocodile and this marks the beginning of the 10th we now okay we looked at this there are 13 columns and we are almost you see 12 over here well, over here marks the beginning of uh, this column. Okay, so 12 Imish is the beginning of Wina number 10 or the fifth night. And this goes back to another thing that I pointed out uh, during um, in the blog, which is the fact that in comparison to the Tune calendar, we are uh, more or less nine days ahead in the Tol The Tolkien is nine days ahead of, of the Toon calendar. And uh, because um, the, in the Toon calendar, we will begin uh, the fifth day. We will begin the fifth day um, just uh, two days from now. And uh, according to the Tolkien, we are already in, at noon time of the fifth day. So you got to keep that in mind too. So summing up, uh, sorry, before summing up, I'll just say a few words about this period of time and the sun sign of uh, the, uh, that's called Ok. Um, well, Ok is the sun sign of uh, love and loyalty. Uh, it's, it is the sun sign of territoriality. If you remember, uh, in the previous lesson, we discussed uh, the crocodile and the dog. Um, uh, the crocodile also is very territorial, but in a very, uh, very extreme way. Uh, you know, if you come close to a crocodile, uh, you know, you might not want to do that. Uh, but a dog, uh, there's much more room for negotiation. He has his ter uh, a territory, but if you're strong enough, he might let you in. And if you're weak, uh, he might kick you out. It's all a matter of give and take. It's a very so uh, Ok is a very social sun sign. It's a very f uh, it has to do with uh, knowing the good life. Okay, remember that. 
remember uh, also the fact that people born under the sun sign Ok uh, are very special kind of leaders um, leaders who are working class leaders team players okay so uh, I, I always like to think of this movie uh, this old movie that's called Gladiator and he had Russell Crowe there and if, if you remember this movie you'll you'll uh, you'll probably recall the way uh, he was leading the, his gang of gladiators and these guys were uh, willing to die for him because he invoked uh, loyalty, he invoked, uh, he invoked love. He, whatever he said, they, 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 uh, they followed him. And it, it was not because he was the strongest or the best. It was just because of his own low-key attitude of of uh, of leading uh, not from a position of um, of a high a high social uh, sta social sta status but just the other way around okay I'll, I'll, I'll just mention a few were a few leaders uh, who, who you might know uh, that are all connected to the sun sign Ok uh, first is uh, Friedrich Engels he was two, two ok, and then you have Nelson Mandela, three ok, and then you have Mahatma Gandhi, six ok, okay, and then you have um, Golda Meir and Anwar Sadat, who actually worked together in the seventies. Uh, there were seven ok, if you remember, two two Trikanas ago, uh, they were mentioned in the blog. And um, also we have about eight politicians in the Oktrikana, uh, including two U.S. presidents uh, and also uh, eight movie stars. So I hope you enjoy uh, this period and I hope you enjoy reading the blog and I'll post some more lessons down the road. I wish you a very pleasant um, Trikana.